Hi, and welcome to the screencast about the slideshow component we just introduced in Tornado FX 158. Now, it might seem a bit strange to have a slideshow component in a framework such as uh, Tornado FX, which uh, uh, mostly caters to uh, business applications. But the reason is that, uh, you know, apart from being able to create slideshows, of course, uh, this component is going to be the, the basis for the upcoming uh, wizard component we're going to introduce in Tornado FX 159. So let me hit Alt right to go to the next slide. And this slide just shows you an uh, image view um, with a, a URL to load an image. And uh, it used a, a tra transition. Now let's do it again, Alt right to go to the next one. And again, we're showing an image in an image view, but this time we used, used another transition. On the next slide, you'll see that we can uh, we, we we can use uh, any kind of a scene graph inside of a slide. A slide is basically just a view or a fragment, so uh, you know it can contain anything, and you can interact with it. Like right here, I have some input fields, but I also have a button that will go to the next slide. So it's possible to control the flow of the slideshow programmatically from within the views of the slideshow. And here you can see how this is done. Basically, you call a slideshow builder function to create a slideshow, and then you add slides using the slide call. You can also set a default transition, uh, but it already has one. So uh, if you're happy with the default, you can just leave it. That's swap in uh, 0.3 seconds, uh, or you can uh, specify something else there. Now, the first two slides, they uh, the, the calls to, uh, to configure them just uh, tells uh, the slideshow uh, which view to show and uh, from three and out we also add a different transition and these transitions you know new slash metro flip fade through and explode is uh, actually just a small subset of all the cool transitions we provide out of the box in tornado effects so each transition can have a, a different uh, duration and uh, some of them have um, you know, like direction parameters and, and stuff like that as well now it's also possible to add a third parameter to the slide function, and this will be the, the um, transition used to go backwards. So if I hit Alt left, I will go backwards and so show the last slide we just looked at. Uh, and uh, as you saw, it used uh, another transition. It uses the default back transition, but you can override it for each, each call if you want. Well, let's move on. This one used a fade transition, as you saw. So uh, this slide jump component is just a small wrapper around the replace with function we introduced earlier in Tornado FX. So what it does is uh, just uh, eat all the slides and then whenever you hit the configured shortcut, that can be overridden of course, to go to the next slide, it will just call this slide, replace with the other slide and then add the effect that you configured or use the default. Now to create your own transitions, you would just need to, uh, to implement uh, the view transition class and uh, override the create call. So this create call is uh, pretty basic. It uh, gives you access to the current node, then uh, the node that you're supposed to replace uh, with. Uh, so you go from this to this, and then you get access to a stack pane that already includes these two nodes. Now the, the current node will be on top and uh, most probably you would want to end up with the, uh, having the replacement node on top in this stack. And the way you do that is completely up to you. But the framework already uh, provides a lot of animations and you can have a look at them in the animation class or animation file actually. Uh, first, this file starts by defining some, uh, some helper functions uh, to work with animations and then some, uh, some functions to, to do different things and animate different uh, things. So you will find uh, two versions of all these functions. One works on UI component and one works on node. And the UI component version just extracts the root from the UI component and then calls the node version of this function. So we got stuff like move, rotate, scale, um, fade. And this one is particularly handy, it's called transform. Uh, it does a lot of stuff in one go. You can have a look at it if you want. Um, later on inside here, we have the already defined view transitions. You have the view trans transition class that I talked about, 
And then we have all the, the transitions that comes with the framework. Let's see if we can find some of them. Like here we have a fade through, for example. And uh, let's see if we find, yeah, this is cover. And you can see it's pretty basic or pretty easy actually to make your own transitions uh, by utilizing uh, the framework's built-in support for, uh, for animation. Let's go back to the, to the slideshow. That was actually basically it. Um, hope you enjoyed watching this slideshow screencast and uh, thanks for watching.